and welcome. In this video clip, we will learn about the parameters that define the shape of a data distribution. Commonly, two parameters are used to define the shape of a distribution and those two parameters are skewness and kurtosis. Skewness is the measure of the symmetry of distribution. It defines that how data is distributed, data points are distributed on both sides of its mean. So if, as we see in this figure that if this is the mean, if this is the center of data, uh, for data distribution, then how much or how many data points are to the left of it and how many data points fall to the right of it. A perfectly normal distribution is symmetric and has a value of zero for skewness. So as we see in this figure that this is this is a perfectly normally distributed uh, data and the value of skewness is zero for this type of distribution or for this symmetrical distribution. Now, skewness, um, a data can be negatively skewed or it could be positively skewed. If a distribution has more data points concentrated to the right of its mean, then we say that a, dist or we say that a distribution with a long right tail is called positive skewness or we say that the data is positively skewed. If the center of the data point is here, if the center of the data set is here, its mean is here, and if we have more data points concentrated to the right of this mean, then the data is positively skewed, or we say that uh, this, uh, this data has a long right tail. In this case, there are more the more data points are um, concentrated to the left of its mean, uh, and which means that this data set has a long left tail so since more data points are concentrated to the left of the mean and such data set is we call that is it is negatively skewed or it the skewness of this data set is to the it falls to the negative this data is negatively skewed or the value will be uh, it will have negative skewness now there is an equation to compute um, the skewness of a data distribution. We are not going to discuss that equation here because we'll have uh, hands-on or uh, we'll use SPSS to find out the skewness of a data distribution. However, how do we interpret the values of, uh, of skewness? According to Barmer MG in his book Principle of Statistics, he says that if skewness is less than minus 1, if the value of skewness is less than minus 1 or greater than plus 1, then we say that the distribution is highly skewed. In case of minus 1, the data will be highly negatively skewed and in case of a data set that has a skewness value of positive, um, positive 1 or greater, then we'll say that the data is highly positively skewed. If skewness is between minus 1 and minus half or between half and plus 1 then we say that the distribution is more moderately skewed it's not that skewed but it still has some skewness if the skewness value for a data set is between minus half and plus half then the distribution is approximately symmetric and in case when the skewness value is 0 then the data is perfectly uh, symmetric and there is no skewness in it. The um, another uh, the other uh, parameter that defines the shape of a distribution is kurtosis. Now kurtosis refers to the peakedness or flatness of a distribution. How high the peak of the data is um, or how flatly distributed or what is the flatness of the distribution of the data is. Now in this case the red line shows that the data set has high peak. Such data set is called, uh, we, we say that this, uh, this data is lepo, leptocurtic and the kurtosis value for such data set that has high peakedness is greater than 3. Now this green curve 
is for a perfectly normal distribution. It does not have high pickedness or the data is not flat, rather it's it has it, the data is normally distributed di distributed to the on the both sides of its mean, and it's called uh, this type of shape. When we, we when we talk about in terms of kurtosis, we say that this green line or this normally a perfectly normal curve is uh, called mesokurtic, and the kurtosis value for such distribution is three. In case of this blue line the data has high flatness the data is like more flatly distributed there is no peak into it such data such curve or such data set is called that it follows platycurtic um, distribution or not platycurtic distribution but the shape of this uh, data set is platycurtic and the kurtosis value for such distribution is minus 3 there is, we should keep one thing in mind that skewness, the, the equations of the skewness and kurtosis, um, the parameters that these equations have, based on that, skewness and kurtosis vary with sample sizes. So, all these sample sizes here, the, 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 total, the total population, let's say that in case of this data, the total number of data points were 5,000. And all these small sample sizes were drawn out of this 5,000 data points. So only five sample uh, data points were randomly selected from the 5,000 data points or 100 data points were randomly selected from these 5,000 data points. And we see here that with the sample, different sample size drawn from the same population or from the same data set have different skewness and kurtosis. So skewness for the sample size 5 is 1.98 and the skewness for the sample size 5000 is negligible it's 0 0.007 similarly kurtosis for a data set with just five data points is 3.97 whereas the kurtosis value for the data set that has 5000 data points is 0 0.03 and we as we see here that even not only the values but also the signs change in case of this uh, the data set that has 10 data points the value of skewness is negative 0 0.078 and again the value of kurtosis is negative 1.468 in this case the data is positively skewed in this set, case the data is negatively skewed so skewness and kurtosis are highly dependent on the sample sizes that with that we conclude the discussion about the skewness and kurtosis and now we'll see how can we use spss to compute the um, kurtosis and skewness and um, we have here we have exported we have opened here the speed data set that we used in other video clips to compute different statistical parameters now to compute skewness and kurtosis we go to analyze and then we go to descriptive statistics let's go to descriptives and select speed of vehicles as the parameters that we want for which we want to compute the kurtosis and skewness and we see here that we, when we sel select option or we, when we click on option, we can s compute all these descriptive statistics. So let unselect the ones that we do not want for this uh, particular exercise and let's select kurtosis, skewness. And we see here that it says these two parameters define distribution. And then we select continue and we hit okay and let's see so the SPSS has computed the skewness statistics and kurtosis for us statistics for the skewness is 0 0.321 which is less than positive half and kurtosis is minus 2.56 which shows here now based on our discussion it shows that in the data has negligible skewness it's 0 0.3 to 1 and if you remember from our um, 
discussion for how to uh, interpret the skewness it says that if the skewness value is between minus half and plus half the distribution is approximately symmetric so in case of our data the skewness statistics shows that our data set is approximately um, symmetric in terms of kurtosis it the value or the statistics of this parameter is minus 0.256 which means the data set has a slight it, or it, not a slide but it has flatness because um, it's less than 3 let's see if what are the other options that we can use let's see if we can compute status uh, kurtosis and skewness using descriptives so we go to option we have already selected that that gives us the same values um, frequencies descriptives let's go to frequency yes there is one more thing that we can do if we go if we go to analyze from the analyze drop down menu we go to descriptive statistics and then go to frequencies and then let's select this parameter or this variable sorry this variable which says speeds of vehicles and go to statistics and we want to compute statics and uh, uh, skewness and kurtosis for this data set hit continue go to chart and say that we want to plot a histogram of the data set that shows normal curve on the histogram and then continue and hit ok and here we can see that uh, SPSS has plotted a histogram of the data and it shows the shape uh, a normal curve overlaid on the histogram and from here we see that our data is slightly flat it's, it has a flatness and it's slightly skewed to the right let's see where it has computed the skewness so the skewness is 0.3 to 1 which means more data points are concentrated to the right or not I mean, it's not exactly a perfectly normal distribution it's somehow symmetric it's close to symmetric and we see from here that this data the distribution of this data set or speed data variable it follows its it's uh, very close to um, symmetrical uh, it close to symmetry or it has its shape is close to uh, perfectly normal it's not perfectly normal but it's close to the normal curve and the kurtosis value is minus 0.256 and as we see here that our data is does not have a high peak but not exactly following the normal but it's somehow flat so with that we conclude the discussion of kurtosis and uh, skewness in this